Hello, welcome to this video for the BMW X6 40D X Drive. So it's the 306 brake horsepower twin turbo, uh, 3 litre diesel. This is a 2011 registered vehicle. Uh, it's covered 78,000 miles, so quite low mileage for the year. This has just had a lot of money spent on it uh, by us to make this perfect. Obviously, cars at this age now, what is it? It's 11 years old over the time of the video, so it's 11 years old, and there are specific things what need doing uh, and sorting out. We've spent almost £3,000 on this vehicle to make it perfect. So, where do we start? Uh, four brand new tyres, all matching. Uh, brand new brake disc, as you can see. Brake disc and pads. Uh, it's had the um, engine rocker cover as well, which is a common fault. Uh, they start to uh, warp at this age, uh, so it's had new gaskets on the top of the engine, etc. It's had the, all the major service, like the uh, how can I say the uh, fuel filters, etc. Anyway, I'll show you those later, uh, and I've all, already listed them in the advert. So let's look at the bodywork. It's just starting to uh, rain here, unfortunately. You can see, so there are some spots there, some water spots on the car, so uh, they're not uh, any marks. So this quarter, that's all nice and clean. There's actually nothing on the vehicle that I need to uh, really point out. It is very tidy. Uh, that bumper is immaculate. Tailpipes are clean. There's no scuffs anywhere. It has got the reversing camera system as well. So there's a reversing camera there, as you can see. Uh, everything is nice and clean. It's got the uh, privacy glass pipe, as you can see. It's very dark at the rear. Uh, the roof is very clean, as you can see. The paintwork is good. The lights are all nice and clean. Let's look in this rear quarter here. So this um, fuel cap, that's all nice and clean in there. So it's 100% diesel. There's no ad blue at this year, 2011. There's no ad blue to be messing around with. Uh, alloy wheels are very good. Uh, the two front ones are waiting for the alloy wheels to be refurbished. So they are a bit, uh, how should I say, a little bit scratched around the edges. So obviously they will be done. The uh, alloy wheel company, the, the main man is on holiday at the moment. So obviously, as you know, uh, we don't want to take them anywhere else. We want to use our alloy wheel man. So they will be done. Okay, edges of the windmill is very clean, as you can see. Totally unmarked, all the glasses unmarked. Uh, the windscreen is very good, very good. There's no chips anywhere on this screen uh, or, or cracks or anything like that. It has got the uh, light, uh, light and rain sensor there as well. As you can hear, the engine sounds very sweet and smooth. It's got the xenon light, it's got the angel eyes as well, the LEDs. You can see those flickering. Obviously, you cannot see those to the human eye, only in the video. Uh, parking sensors to the front, as you can see, the lower fog lights, all in good condition. The uh, high gloss black kidney grills, as you can see, they're all there. Uh, 11 plate, with it, 11 plate, it looks like a private reg number. Looks very short and sweet. Okay, so uh, a very, very tidy, as you can see. The bonnet's tidy. Original BMW glass, if you look there. The BMW logo, so this is a, an original windscreen, so that's very good. So that's a 78,000 mile windscreen. Okay, uh, yep, everything's nice and clean. That wing mirror, nice and clean, no damage there. Up there's nice and clean as well. And all them doors, etc., nice and clean. Alloy wheel there. Just like I said, brand new tyres, all four matching uh, tyres as well. Alright, let's open the rear boot then. So, it's one touch and it's electronic tailgate, as you can see. So everything is in here as well. So the parcel shelf is one of these that just simply fold, a bit like the Range Rovers, so just fold up. So there's no strings that pull it up, it just folds up and over like that, like so. It's a slider, as you can see, all carpeted, very clean. Just being valeted by our man John. It's a 12 volt there as well. Uh, and then you've got a lockable storage under here. So you can put the key in there, lock your belongings under here. If we lift that, you can see you've got a storage tray there. There's no spare wheel with these cars, unfortunately. Uh, there's a towing hook there, locking wheel bolt, and the uh, screwdriver as well. Okay, so it's all nice and clean. That uh, brushed aluminium uh, or stainless steel kick plate there 
is in immaculate condition no scratches no damage uh, same on the plastic there and the rubber it's immaculate condition and same on the top of the rear bumper there no scratches nothing has been dragged in and out of there at all okay so let's push this bike down again pop that over like that so that's how it is it's all nice and clean up here as well got the lights as well so you can see uh, and the button works of course if you've seen me do that press that and that closes okay in the bike let's take a look at the bike as you can see very clean it's got the uh, dark wood trim there and the uh, high gloss silver uh, trim as well leather armrest on the doors electric rear uh, windows all the door shuts from top to bottom are immaculate all down there totally immaculate you say it's got the tailor fitted car mat set as you can see the car mat set is made to fit uh, the magazine holders are nice and uh, tight there's two 12 volt um, output ports there some air vents uh, on the in the seats there's only two rear seats of course this one's the uh, four seater version as you can see so two headrests two full size seat belts and that's it so there's a pull down armrest there which just flips back up some storage there and in here there is a ashtray drinks holder and a 12 volt as well so you've got wow so many one two three 12 volts in the bike uh, isofix uh, child anchoraging points for the seats so just on the two outer uh, split fold rear seats as well so you've got the little pull handle there which makes this come down so you can obviously put larger items in okay uh, black roof lining as well so easier to keep clean let's go to the other side show you that door card make sure you're happy with that door card as well oh by the way while we're here we have got another one there another uh, X6 just arrived awaiting preparation that's sort of 12 red I think that's a little bit more miles uh, but if you're interested in that one please let us know that's a little bit newer a year newer that one okay so this side everything's nice and clean tailor fitted car mat set all the door shuts like I say from from top to bottom all clean there's no trap seat belt marks on the door shuts etc uh, the door cards are immaculate there's no wear and tear or scuffs anywhere there's no sticky sweets inside the pockets and there's no scratches on the uh, on the woodwork etc so it's all immaculate uh, passenger side front passenger side front very clean as well just one little minor thing to report so on 90% of these on that handle I don't know why but on this side or the front ones that uh, plastic there is very soft and what happens uh, with the in the summer when the heat's really hot it starts to melt that so that's a BMW design fault on the front uh, door handle there I've seen it many times sometimes on the earlier X5s as well they use the same uh, rubber uh, and and that's pretty much why it is like that so it looks a little bit bad uh, should we say but not too bad we're gonna try and locate another one or, or see if the BMW dealers provide that on its own so that's all I can fault on the car to be fair everything else is immaculate it's got the, uh, as you see, it's totally immaculate, no trap seat belt marks. It's got the electric front uh, passenger seat as well. It's obviously heated leather as well, that one, so there's no wear and tear. Extendable sports seat, little bit there. Uh, the headrest, which can move forward, so if there's a little switch somewhere, that's it on the side, you press that, and it will extend out, so forward. So the, the headrest do adjust forward. Uh, in here, we've got the... Uh, we turn the radio down so in here you have got a little button you press for the glove box which is here inside the glove box you've got a usb port as well it's also got a usb port in the armrest as well so there's two usb input ports that's a sailor fitted car mat there that's all nice and clean let's go back to the uh, driver's side now it's just starting to rain so i'll talk you through that it's starting to rain but it's sunshiny so it's one of those weird days okay all that's nice and clean as you can see the door cards nice and clean no damage anywhere it's got the uh, folding wing mirrors as well so that round button there that's the folding wing mirrors so press that that folds in like so and then we press it again and it goes out uh, four electric windows child safety lock as well uh, there's a little speaker grill there all that's nice and clean in there 
uh, no damage to that bit there, no torn door cord where the uh, boots come in and out, all the door shuts immaculate, the pedals are immaculate, the carpet is immaculate as well, everything is there, it's just starting to rain like crazy now. Uh, so it's got the electric memory seat for the driver's seat, uh, there's no trap seat belt marks on the paintwork there and the rubber is all nice and clean. Okay, the driver's seat, as you can see, is in good condition. Good condition, a little bit of misshaping going on there on that bottom bolster, uh, but at 78,000 miles, that's uh, acceptable in uh, my opinion. Let's just get in. Let's get in and then uh, put the seat back so we can see. So it's got the full size uh, sat nav there, screen. Uh, also, if you put it foot on the brake, put it into reverse. There we go, we've got the reverse camera with the aerial view as well there. So it's got the rear view, it's full colour of course. Press park again. And then obviously at the same time the rear view mirror also dips down. So if I put it into reverse, you can see the rear view mirror dips down to see the curbs. Okay, so that's that. Oh, look at that rainbow there. Lovely. So it's obviously raining here and it's created a rainbow over there. Okay, so uh, let's go to the, oh, it's got heated seats as well. So heated front seats, of course, that one's on. And then obviously there's one there as well. Dual zone climate control. So you've got your left and right heat settings. Uh, uh, air conditioning, which works. Uh, it's just being regassed as well. So it's ice cold, your CD player as well. And then you've got here, you've got your parking sensors on and off, uh, your traction control, your rear tailgate release, etc. Uh, and then you've got your ashtray and your um, oh it's not an ashtray it's a coin well actually yeah it could be an ashtray there's just no ash cigarette lighter there and you've got your drinks holder there which has got the shutter door which is shut there like that so it's got the shutter door there as well uh, and then uh, you've got this also the camera has just decided it's going to 360 degrees more so it's also got the 360 degree camera as well uh, and then you've got your buttons here as well you've got your gear lever Auto, auto hold which is a, an additional feature uh, electronic parking brake uh, leather armrest which if we open it's got the uh, got the telephone preparation holder so you can put a car phone in but I think that's a bit of, uh, bit of a past uh, gimmick at the moment inside here I don't know if you can see you've got the aux input uh, and you've got the USB input and another 12 volt there and all that's nice and clean storage so all that's nice and clean uh, voice command, you've got your, there we go, under there, it's the uh, cruise control there. Your computer on the other store there, that's the computer. Uh, and then you've got your program up and down for the CD, uh, etc. Okay, so, uh, I know I pressed something earlier, the parking, but if you look at, when I turn the steering wheel, it gives you these left and right indicators. So it's very clever, uh, 78,731. As you can see, automatic light switch as well. Uh, paddle shifters as well. So paddle shifters up here, leather steering wheel with this chrome surround trim there. Uh, so a very nice place to be. Uh, let's have a look at the service history. So the service history we've we've got here, we've got the service booklet, the original service booklet. It's got all the uh, it's got all the service stamps here as well. So it's got the uh, it's from this place here originally. Douglas Park that it was Saxton for before a very famous four-wheel drive centre uh, down south that uh, sell a lot of four-wheel drives especially Range Rovers uh, another one here this is a Mercedes BMW specialist Mercedes BMW specialist as well this was probably the basic one this was a tyre company which serviced it there uh, just an oil service and then this one is what we've had okay and if you look at what's being taken this is what's done engine oil Front brakes, as in brakes and pads, rear brakes, as in pads, of the vehicle check, so check through all the vehicle, the brake fluid check change as well, sorry. Uh, the air cleaner element as well, and the fuel filter as well. So we've done a massive service on that, and that was, I think that was a £2,000 bill we got for that. £2,000 service, we had four brand new tyres, they were another five or six hundred pounds. The air con, that was regassed. Uh, a few other little bits and bobs, which we've had to get uh so about three thousand pounds we've spent so you know we like to do things properly like you say if you do things cheaply guess what you're doing them twice so you've got to do them properly and you do them once and properly so it's got the booklet there 
service booklet, uh, a new MOT as well with no advisories of course because obviously we spent that much money. Uh, there we go, so the MOT there, X6, so the mileage goes up from 63, 64, 69 uh, and it was actually off the road for a few years this vehicle as you can see. The last one was 2019 so it probably got stopped it probably didn't get used from 20 so October 2020 it stopped getting used that explains because obviously lockdown that's what happened uh, and that's what what happened so it was parked up wasn't in use and obviously we've just had to spend this money on it to get it back to the uh, standard satisfactory condition All right if we go to the menu up here we've got the navigation multimedia radio DAB radio as well so we've got DAB so that's DAB radio uh cd and the media of course and we've also got the uh telephone bluetooth which we can obviously stream your music through as well so it's got the media package as you can see one of the last owners was called vanessa with a smiley face the mouth opened and she was obviously streaming her uh music as well so that's all good right okay so um let's i'm going to turn the engine off because it's noisy when I you open the bonnet because the microphone's so good on these phones now that obviously it's, so I'm gonna pull that there and turn the engine off the stop start push button there there we go it's off oh by the way we've only got one key as well with this vehicle so please do not come and say that there is two keys there's only one uh, like I say it's a second hand car and like I say they do get lost and misplaced by the previous owners okay so the um, twin turbo twin power turbo engine cover there all nice and clean everything is uh very clean properly valeted everything's been checked we've tested the car we've right we've drove it home made sure everything's right there's no leaks or coolant leaks or oil leaks or anything like that uh, like i said brand new brakes so there's no vibrating brakes etc there's no funny noises when you turn left and right all this is nice and clean there's even the sound covers there as well. I can't help notice that rainbow over there. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Okay, so back to the car. Walk around it once more. Uh, if you've got a part exchange, please provide us the full reg number and the mileage, and we will give you a quotation. If you require finance, please do get in touch with us as well, and we can quote your figures. We've got our own in-house finance team, led by James, our finance manager. He will give you a call, talk you through the figures. Obviously, the interest rates will be the better your um, your credit score is, the lower the interest rate. Obviously, if you've got a bad credit score, then obviously you're only going to get one or two lenders willing to lend you the money, and the interest rate is going to be high. It's going to be set high. So, obviously, that's how finance works. A lot of people uh, do really still ask us, you know, uh, how much is the interest rate, and we say, well, it's based on your personal circumstances, as we know. Okay, so I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, video and uh, get in touch if you have any questions whatsoever and hope to see you soon. Thank you.